नमस्कार वेलकम टू विजन ऑफ एशिया अवॉइज ऑफ द कम्युनिटी आई एम अशोक व्यास एंड यू आर वॉचिंग आई टी वी गोल्ड दिस संडे वी ओपन अप विद अ स्टोरी रिलेटेड टू इंडिया रिपब्लिक डे We also had uh, Consul General at our studio to talk about uh, the celebration. Uh, we will take you to this week with Padmasi Dr. Sudhir Parekh uh, to his memory lane about Republic Day and much more. Uh, we also have filmmaker Rara Bharadwaj who talks about space moms. Then uh, Momita Ahmed uh, greets you uh, as a candidate for City Council District 24. we also have a special conversation with someone who has been a close associate of uh, vice president uh, kamla harris ashok but talks to padmashi dr sudhir parekh pramod but and ashok vyas we will conclude uh, today's green of asia with uh, a musical introduction and what is that uh, keep waiting we'll be right back after these short messages and now time for a breaking news related to your own channel ITV Gold yes uh, our own us based ITV Gold has partnered with doordarshan to expand global awareness about india's cultural and growth trajectory india's public service broadcaster doordarshan a part of prasar bharti has chosen our own ITV Gold international television broadcasting in its bid to go global and engage international audience across continents and to create a global voice for india in a significant breakthrough an agreement was signed and exchanged on january 25th between these two entities stay tuned for more details Welcome back you're watching Vision of Asia on ITV Gold and today as we look back at uh, 26 January India's Republic Day 72nd Republic Day was celebrated with traditional pomp and glory but there were some parallel incidents that took place on 26 January related to tractor rally organized by farmers uh, and that didn't uh, maintain its decorum and declared objective of remaining peaceful so we had to witness some scenes which made us feel uncomfortable but here is uh, something focused on india's republic day we are here at the consul chamber of india in new york celebrating the 72nd republic day of india this is an occasion to reaffirm our commitment to the constitution which we enacted and adopted on this day 71 years ago we normally celebrate this day with great fervor and enthusiasm with friends of india and the indian american community gathered here in this ballroom these are unprecedented times we have not been able to have everyone in this ballroom this year but many of us many of you have joined us through facebook aap sabhi ko gandhant divas ke shubh avsar par meri dher sari shubhkamnaye इस अवसर पर हमारे साथ फेसबुक लाइव पे हमारे मित्रगण जुड़े हुए हैं उनको भी गणतंत्र दिवस के शुभ अवसर पर ढेर सारी शुभकामनाएं मैं भारत के राष्ट्रपति श्री रामनाथ कोविंद द्वारा दिए गए देश के नाम राष्ट्र के नाम संदेश गणतंत्र दिवस के पूर्व संध्या पर मैं आपके सामने प्रस्तुत करूंगा मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों नमस्कार विश्व के सबसे बड़े और जीवंत लोकतंत्र के आप सभी नागरिकों को देश के बहत्तरवें गणतंत्र दिवस की पूर्व संध्या पर हार्दिक बधाई विविधताओं से समृद्ध हमारे देश के अनेक त्योहार मनाए जाते हैं परंतु हमारे राष्ट्रीय त्योहारों को सभी देशवासी 
राष्ट्र प्रेम की भावना के साथ मनाते हैं गणतंत्र दिवस का राष्ट्रीय पर्व हम पूरे उत्साह के साथ मनाते हुए अपने राष्ट्रीय ध्वज तथा संविधान के प्रति सम्मान व आस्था व्यक्त करते हैं आज का दिन देश विदेश में रहने वाले सभी भारतीयों के लिए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है धीरे आगे बढ़ती हुई और उधर आकाश में राष्ट्रपति भवन की ओर से चार एम आई सेवनटीन वी फाइव हेलीकॉप्टर वाइन ग्लास फॉर्मेशन में कैप्टन दीपांशु शोरान दिक्सटी वन कैवलरी इज दी एक्टिव सर्विंग भांगू of 54 armored regiment the mbt or the main battle tank is designed rajpath par desh regiment ka ang hai jiska aadarsh vakya hai do it right first time and every time yuddh ghosh In this week with Parmshi, Dr. Sudhir Parikh, as uh, Dr. Parikh uh, remembers the day when he was conferred Parmshi at uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan in India, and the emotional bonding which he continues to cherish and uh, celebrate through his service and compassionate work. Ramushkar, uh, welcome to this special edition of Padm uh, this week with Parmshi, Dr. Sudhir Parikh. and without uh, further delay let me have the pleasure of welcoming one and only uh, who is not just passionate about india about america but also about the indo us relationship and in the light of republic day as uh, we look towards india doctor sir what uh, comes to your mind namaskar and uh, we would like to wish a happy indi uh, republican day for, to everyone and uh, I mean, Republican Day is it, it's really a, it's a great milestone uh, in my life and each and every Indian's life. And we, today we are celebrating 72nd Republic Day. That shows that our country, 72 years independent, it, it, uh, 72 years old, independent, self-sufficient, and self-proud. so talking about self sufficiency and the sweetness with uh, comes comes with a sense of uh, self assuredness as an individual as well as as, as a nation um, and i always uh, find these festivals uh, have some way of connecting with our memory and if i were request you to walk with us towards your uh, early days in school and uh, any uh, special memory of republic day celebration with probably sweet distributions in gujarat well i mean every republic day we used to have a uh, uh, sweet distribution to celebrate uh, republic day we used to have a lot of uh, uh, flagging i mean un, i mean dhwaj uh, vandan what we call it uh, also we used to have even uh, small parades in, in different towns and different uh, streets and uh, always we we are looking forward to uh, hear the president of india's uh, speech uh, during our uh, high school and college years 
and of course uh, the republic day is a uh, most uh, uh, kind of memorable for me personally because in 2010 on republic republic day government of india bestowed me a highest civilian award called padma shri padma award and uh, really that padma award i received uh, um, it was announced on 26th of january and i received in some uh, march 2011 and that time uh, uh i it was done in a, or it was that celebration was in rashtrapati bhavan and uh, rashtrapati bhavan as you know it's a epitome of the democracy in india and uh, in rashtrapati bhavan is a such a beautiful uh, bhavan where you have full of histories full of arts full of uh, memories of the uh, british raj as well as uh, independence india and uh, in in the rashtrapati bhavan uh, this ceremony was held in uh, asoka hall which is uh, again very ornate gilded with the gold in the walls lot of huge uh, chandeliers and a uh, lot of history and in this hall where mount benton gave the independence to uh, pandit jawaharlal nehru on behalf of british raj and uh, nehru accepted this independence on behalf of people of india in 19 1946 so uh, uh, at the same spot same spot exactly same spot uh, i was honored i was humble Uh, to receive a highest one of the highest civilian award uh, that is padma award from the uh, then uh, our president uh, shrimati pratima patil's hand and uh, it was really uh, priceless and uh, uh, kind of uh, difficult to describe in the words but uh, you have to feel it you have to experience it and i was uh, uh, top of my uh, world uh, and uh, so satisfied and so honored and so and and, and i felt that uh, this is i achieved a uh, lot uh, since i came from the very very middle class uh, family with the very hard <clears throat> work and uh, challenges uh, and so it was ultimate uh, ultimate uh, price for me how it translated into your vision of uh, serving more well i mean uh, uh, you are absolutely right uh, by getting this kind of honor and recognition by government of india highest <coughs> highest body of the uh, in the in our motherland india uh, we, uh, that that makes you feel more responsible that fills you makes think uh, more for the india <clears throat> and i'm the india advocate for last uh, almost over 45 years i am the one who was uh, uh, was driving force for formation of the india caucus in 90s early 90s i was one with my friends uh, other uh, friends uh, in usa Uh, i was driving force uh, to formation of the friends of uh, india in us senate i'm the one who was very much involved in the uh, uh, disaster crisis of tsunami uh, latur earthquake in maharashtra gujarat earthquake in uh, gujarat and also i'm the one who was involved in uh, one of the core committee member uh, involved in the us india nuclear deal which was very challenging and we made it happen and uh, so uh, since i got this uh, recognition now i i have to double my effort to work for us india relation get more fd uh, f uh, foreign uh, direct fund to the india investment try to help the indian healthcare industry and that's why i'm now <clears throat> as secretary of the global physician of indian origin we have uh, uh, 1.2 million indian doctors outside india which we represent and uh, we do so many um, 
good healthcare uh, projects and initiative in, in India with the help of the doctors, colleagues uh, throughout the world. So I think uh, this kind of uh, award and recognition makes you work doubly hard and makes you uh, do more for your motherland and mother India. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm delighted to hear that, Dr. Saab. And as I'm aware, you have been an active part and guiding force for important organization of physicians, API. Uh, you were also uh, conferred the Pravasi Bharatiya Samman by Government of India. And uh, looking at your role as physician and also as uh, a unique uh, ambassador of India in terms of Indo-US relationship, how it made you feel when you heard about vaccine maitri, which is India's success in not just discovering uh, this vaccine, but also distributing with compassion with several countries. It's, it's a great, great news. And uh, I mean, uh, I always uh, personally hope that India one day, uh, not only a, a poor developing country, but it's a, it's a very thriving economy a third largest economy in the uh, in the world and india will will not only help their own people but india will help the whole world uh, during the crisis and that this uh, vaccine uh, production by india and give, give, giving away to the uh, uh, neighboring countries and all over the asia and even african countries that shows that india is a is a one of the next uh, world leader uh, in this uh, this uh, this 21st century. Absolutely. And let us take a look at uh, potential Indo-US relationship under Biden administration. Do you think uh, there's going to be some shift in uh, America's approach towards India? Uh, how, how do you see moving forward Indo-US relationship with the new administration at White House? I think uh, uh, overall uh, U.S.-India relation re will remain same as what it was before, because both country ne needs uh, need each other. U.S. needs India, India needs USA, and so for foreign uh, direct investment from the USA to India will be much more in during Biden administration. Uh, again, uh, uh, Biden administration. Uh, just like what Trump administration helped India in the defense strategic um, uh, uh, exercise and and help the, against the China Chinese aggression and so forth, I'm sure Biden administration will continue the same thing. And third, uh, I mean uh, Biden administration definitely will help uh, in the healthcare industries uh, uh, with the high technology robot robotic uh, surgery, robotic uh, instrumentation, artificial intelligence to the Indian healthcare. So I think uh, overall it will, uh, it will be the same as, as it was uh, in the past, or it may be more because the uh, Biden administration has a lot of our uh, Indian Americans, those who are in the kind of decision-making uh, position, and that can be very helpful to India. So what I appreciate uh, about you, especially is your optimism, hope, as well as positive thinking and keeping that in mind, the light of seeing good and making things uh, move towards a better direction. Unfortunately, there are events which makes us uh, cringe uh, within and we uh, hope that these are not repeated. So what we witnessed on 6 January here in America at Capitol Hill, something parallel to that has taken place in uh, India on 26 January at uh, Red Fort. Uh, the violent outburst of the tractor rally related to Kisan agitation and the aftermaths. Uh, how do you see uh, these developments? It's very unfortunate development. It's very unfortunate development and very, very condemnable. It means I strongly condemn, so everyone else should um, strongly condemn that kind of uh, violence, that kind of uh, uh, taking uh, over uh, uh, Red Fort, which is our iconic uh, uh, symbol of the India uh, 17th century fort. And uh, that, is, that is really disgusting and shame, shamefulness. 
and i think um, we all should uh, educate and uh, and uh, work towards a thing uh, which uh, uh, to indian population so no one should do this thing in the future and those who did it should be uh, bring to the uh, some kind of justice and punishment so uh, can uh, so no no other people can uh, dare to do this kind of uh, uh, undemocratic shameful uh, disgusting uh, behavior uh, while they are protesting because pro protest is always welcome but has to be peaceful no violence or no other uh, uh, destruction is uh, is tolerated or allowed and as we move towards the concluding part of our conversation doctor what happens is after anything like this uh, happens uh, the narrative the way it is built also uh, makes uh, a, a, an impact of its own for example now there are uh, some social media reports saying that those who climbed on the uh, red fort uh, were uh, affiliated with bjp and then you go for fact checking etc but the point that i want to bring to your attention is uh, then media's role becomes even more important and what would you expect indian media or for that matter our uh, own channel as well as uh, other uh, indian american media uh, in terms of uh, the responsibility which they have and uh, Uh, what could be their contribution in uh, rebuilding harmony well our, i mean uh, media has a big role to play including our own media and we must uh, um, uh, show the facts of the events we must we should not be a bias we should be very neutral and we must uh, tell what is a uh, right for country what is right for democracy and what's the right for the cause of the protest and 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 so forth so media media should always um, establish a right narrative uh, for the people of the india and and that that's only not only in india but this whatever happened was seen by whole over the world so the the repercussion or reaction of the world always uh, all media has to be very very aware of it and try to correct if narrative is incorrect uh, because some media particularly in the western world the leftist media can exaggerate the what happened back home and and uh, can make us look uh, bad but uh, i think uh, it is our responsibility as a indian media and uh, luckily uh, fortunately i i own the media and therefore i i always believe that the uh, express the facts uh, represent the right thing and and set, set the right narratives of the subject i appreciate that dr sir and your concluding uh, remarks from uh, today's uh, this week with pathology dr suri pai well uh, dear friends uh, again um, happy republic day uh, do not forget that uh, we all have in democracy right to protest but protest has to be very peaceful violence anti social activity has no role or no place in the in the democracy also do not forget still we are in the thick of the pandemic be careful try to get vaccination whenever you get chance do not delay it and follow the guideline of cdc to prevent the spread of the infection this is a, this is a real uh, important thing in 2021 so we all can make the later part of the 21 as a normal uh, regular life so be be safe and uh, be ho uh, stay home as much as you can and uh, be part of the uh, fighting this pandemic uh, so god bless america god bless india god bless indian american community and goodbye we'll see you uh, next week till then bye bye and thank you
فلم میکر رادا بھاردواج ہیز میڈ اے فلم وچ از گوئنگ ٹو انکریز اوور اویئرنیس اباؤٹ دا رول ویٹ ویمن اچیورس پلے دا کائنڈ آف اسٹرگلس دیٹ دے ہیو اینڈ ہاؤ انر موٹیویشن ہیو دیم اوور کم آل دا چیلنجز Not all heroes wear capes. Some heroes wear saris. We've got the green light, Saraswati. The green light for the red planet. Mom's the word. Mars Orbiter Mission, acronym MOM. The big news today is on space exploration. India will send a satellite to Mars. Take a good look, my friends. This will be our 24/7 preoccupation for the next 14 months. So, spend some time with your families tonight. You won't be seeing much of them in the coming months. No country that succeeded in the Mars mission did so on the first try, not even the US. But we don't have the budget for trial and error. 14 months to design and build the orbiter from scratch. Why is it doing this? There must be some flaw in our model. We're running out of time. If the ship's not in place, we can't launch on the 28th. We can't control the storm, Shanti. No one likes it. But storms don't care. Trust your team. We won't let you down. A story of modern India. Where space age achievements are rooted in an ancient culture. Mitraya Namaha A story of normal middle class working models. What's going on? Are you all bullying my son? I want you in bed by 12, okay? No watching TV and drink your milk. Who just so happen to be rocket scientists by day and by night. Fighting impossible odds. And learning the value of tenacity and courage and teamwork. From award-winning writer-director Radha Bardwaj. comes a tale of love and family and pride and hope and inspiration a celebration of girl power Now, the first dramatic production inspired by the women of India's Mars mission. And now time for a breaking news related to your own channel, ITV Gold. Yes, uh, our own US-based ITV Gold has partnered with Doordarshan to expand global awareness about India's cultural culture. and growth trajectory india's public service broadcaster doordarshan a part of prasar bharti has chosen our own itv gold international television broadcasting in its bid to go global and engage international audience across continents and to create a global voice for india in a significant breakthrough an agreement was signed and exchanged on january 25th between these two entities stay tuned for more details momita ahmed has been active with community and has fought on several issues now she is also one of the candidate for the city council district 24 election 
takes place on 2nd February. What are your expectations from the incoming administration, well, the new administration right now? What are your expectations when you're looking at that attack itself? So we're already seeing changes happening. Um, you know, Joe Biden, um, first of all, got rid of the Muslim ban, which was uh, put in effect by Donald Trump and expanded some of the immigrant policies that were closed up to, for example, undocumented immigrants, DACA recipients. And so we're already seeing changes happening. We, uh, we are back. Uh, we signed on to the climate accord again, right? So changes are happening. So I'm very um, hopeful that this administration will um, undo some of the harm that Donald Trump uh, did to our democracy and our country. And I'm especially looking forward to Kamala Harris's vice presidency because um, you know, as a senator, she voted 92% of the time with progressive senators like Bernie Sanders, and she co-sponsored the Medicare for All bill. So, and, um, you know, right now we do need to address COVID-19. So uh, uh, there more resources need to be put to helping working class people, but uh, we're on, the, on a good path. You have, you know, said that you are for the working families. You want to make changes for the working families. District 24 uh, is super diverse. It has a South Asian population. How do you hope to work for these working families? Why are you so focused on them? You know, when I was a eight-year-old who immigrated here with my parents, um, I lived in a one-bedroom apartment, which we shared with... Uh, Two of our uh, relatives, like actually three of our relatives, me and my brother, uh, we had to we had to turn our living room into a bedroom for us, and that was a really difficult upbringing, right? Being housing insecure, and that's unfortunately the reality of so many immigrants who move in here. And so I want them to have a better life. I want our kids to grow up in a not feeling housing insecure having their own space right i want families to be able to afford uh an apartment afford to live in this district um where so many south asian people live where there's you know you have the groceries that serve south asian ethnically appropriate food right so this is our community and if we can't even live here then what is the point point? and so i'm fighting for those people i i if I'm elected, I will make sure that every renter has legal support and immigrants have access to language accessible legal support uh, or, and for homeowners, small homeowners, that they have, um, you know, a, a, a fund to pull through to pay their mortgage because so many of them couldn't afford to during the pandemic. And also legalized basements so that our homeowners can house more, you know, can rent out to immigrants without worrying about being uh, uh, the Department of Building fining them thousands and thousands of dollars. You're also fighting for immigration justice. I'd like to know what are the issues of immigrants currently in District 24 and what changes do you hope to make? Yeah, so immigrant justice is very dear to my heart as an immigrant myself. When I... Uh, when I moved here, I had to translate for my parents since I was eight years old and have had to help them navigate this system that is becoming increasingly more difficult for our immigrant community. So what we need is more language accessibility uh, in our government. So making sure that um, our immigrant communities have legal support um, when they go to housing court, that's language accessible. Um, that the documents, government documents, that they're all in simple language and also translated in various languages that are appropriate in the community based on who lives in the community, right? That there's an emphasis on that. Um, and making sure that people with immigration um, issues, right, that they have access to an immigration lawyer for free because oftentimes what happens is um, certain people will exploit Right, the fact that somebody doesn't speak English very well and charge them uh, more extra money or like um, um, take advantage of them, right? right? And so I think something like legal support for immigration questions should just be taken over by city council. That's something that should be part of our constituency servicing.
Ashok Bhatt has known Vice President Kamala Harris since she was 20. And that long-term association as a friend and someone who supported her at uh, several political junctures uh, talked to us about what to expect from Kamala Harris as Vice President and from Biden administration. Joining me uh, for this conversation with Ashok Bhatt were Padmashree Dr. Sudhir Parikh and Pramod Bhagat. Uh, convey my congratulations on behalf of Indian American community as well as uh, Parikhovar Media and myself to both uh, uh, incoming our 46th President Joe Biden as well as Vice President uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, particularly, we are very excited because one of us, a South, South uh, Indian, uh, South Haitian uh, descent, Kamala Harris, uh, is a real immigrant story, become the highest uh, office holder in the USA history, as a woman, as a immigrant, and as a uh, as a uh, uh, et uh, ethnic uh, uh, minorities. So really, we are very proud, very excited, and uh, we wish her and President Biden uh, all the success during next four years. Uh, Asok ji ke baare mein jitna bhi batao kam hai. Uh, he's a very dynamic person. And uh, he was a commissioner of uh, California Water Commissions and uh, actively participated, not part, uh, and a lot of works he did it in uh, San Francisco areas and very, very close to Kamala ji and uh, in this fundraising moment for this new elections where, you know, we are congratulating our uh, new president and vice president. A uh, lot of fundraising events all across the America uh, हमारे अशोक भाई इन्वॉल्व थे और हम लोगों को भी उन्होंने इंस्पायर किया था वी आल्सो ट्राइड इन न्यू जर्सी एरिया वेरी गुड एफर्ट सो थैंक यू अशोक जी आप इतने कम टाइम में हम लोगों को ज्वाइन किए हैं और आई होप दिस आवर न्यू प्रेसिडेंशियल हाउस एंड यू नो न्यू टीम इज गोइंग टू बी मेक अनदर रिलेशनशिप विद इंडिया is to make another history because I know that uh, our Kamala Harris ji is a DNA is from India or in the, uh, the Mool month in India Vasudev Kutumkam Pura Dunia Hamara Parivar and we are from that Parivar So Ashok ji let me request you to share your initial uh, familiarity with uh, what lies in uh, Kamala Harris as potential vice presidential candidate and you have with them कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर उनको जिताने के लिए जो कुछ किया उसके मूल में क्या बात थी व्हाट वाज इट अबाउट हर जिसने आपको इंप्रेस किया okay. और उस समय कमला जी अबाउट 20 ईयर यंग एज की थी हम लोग तब से आपस में कहीं न कहीं इवेंट्स में क्रॉस अराउंड शामिल होते रहे कम्युनिटी इवेंट्स में तो डायन फाइनस्टाइन तब मेयर बनी थी और सिटी में मैं वो इन्वॉल्व हुआ था तो अपने पटेल साहब का कोई मोटल था उसमें वो हम लोगों ने आ, सपोर्ट किया सिटी को कि कोई उस समय जैसे अभी कोरोना चल रहा है उस समय वो एड्स की इशू एड्स एड्स एंड एचआईवी की शुरुआत हुई थी एंड देन नो वन वांटेड टू टच दोस टाइप ऑफ पीपल टू प्रोवाइड अ हाउसिंग मैं पहला सैन फ्रांसिस्को में आदमी था जिसने मेयर को जाकर के ऑफर किया कि मैं मैनेजर हूं इस होटल में और मैं आपके क्लाइंट को लेता हूं पॉर्श एरिया में लॉम्बार्ड स्ट्रीट पे हमने उनको आ, उनके पेशेंट्स को हमने एक्सेप्ट किया फ्रॉम देयर आई बिकेम वेरी एक्टिव इन द सिटी ऑफ सैन फ्रांसिस्को और तब से आज तक है वो हमारा कंट्रीब्यूशन रहा कमला जी जब पहली बार खड़ी हुई तो हम लोगों ने सबसे पहली रैली की साथ साथ में सैन फ्रांसिस्को में Uh, जब वो डिस्ट्रिक्ट अटर्नी के लिए खड़ी हुई तो उसमें है वो हम लोगों ने वो सबसे पहली सिटी हॉल के सामने रैली की और वहां से शुरुआत होती है कमला जी की कमला जी की खासियत ये है कि वो शांति प्रिय है डेडिकेटेड है स्ट्रॉन्ग डिसीजन मेकर है एक बार तय कर दिया तो उस फिर वो उससे विचलित नहीं होती है अपने विचार से और न ही विचार को बदलती है उनका काम बहुत ही स्पष्ट है शुद्ध है और उस तरह से तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा वो उस बात से कि ऑनेस्ट अशोक जी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड जी अशोक जी हम आपकी साथ इस बातचीत को जारी रखते हुए मैं चाहता था डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक से रिक्वेस्ट करना कि उनकी एक्सपेक्टेशन 
जिस तरह से उन्होंने जाना है कमला हैरिस वाइस प्रेसिडेंट के बारे में उनसे इंडियन अमेरिकन कम्युनिटी मेंबर के रूप में और वो इंडियन कॉकस में भी काफी एक्टिव रहे उस नाते उनकी एक्सपेक्टेशन क्या है और फिर हम आपके साथ और आगे बढ़ते हैं उनकी लीडरशिप क्वालिटीज को और समझने की कोशिश करते हैं सो डॉक्टर साहब योर एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम वाइस प्रेसिडेंट कमलाचुनिटी टू वर्क विद लॉर्ड ऑफ कांग्रेस मैन एंड सेनेटर्स Um, and uh, political activist uh, uh, during uh, our uh, political forum we, we used to have very uh, big national organization called indian american political uh, uh, forum for political education and where we used to have uh, at least three to four times a national meeting uh, uh, gathering where uh, time to time uh, kamala harris uh, i mean uh, vice president kamala harris used to come as a Uh, one time as attorney general then uh, as a senator and as a uh, and now uh, hopefully uh, she may come as a vice president but uh, we so we 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 had opportunities to know her in a different angle and different uh, point of view and she was always for uh, uh, immigrants she was always for uh, india and and of course uh, because of her uh, mother was uh, uh, from the tamil nadu and uh, she is always for uh, a right thing I means she, she was always for the minorities oppressed people and uh, and always believed that everyone has to be have equal rights not only in the usa but uh, throughout the world or any other country everyone should be treated more respectfully and and fairly as you are aware uh, this was a very very polarized uh, election and uh, there were divided uh, opinions or perceptions and one narrative which was going around especially from the other side uh, which is now out of white house was that uh, this administration might not work uh, for india in the indian interest and it might till towards pakistan etc so the first uh, um, uh, press conference by the defense secretary suggests slightly that but it might be very early to kind of conclude so based on your understanding of the overall approach uh, of uh, biden uh, kamla uh, white house uh, how do you see moving forward with respect to indo us relationship हर आदमी अपने घर को देखता है पहले अमेरिका अपने घर को देखेगा पहले उसके बाद में इंडिया या पाकिस्तान को सोचेगा सो द इम्पोर्टेंट इज दैट यू नो द बाइडन कीप इन माइंड दैट द बाइडन साहब वाज अ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट फॉर एट इयर्स एंड प्रायर टू दैट ही वाज अ सेनेटर फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम फोर्टी सेवन ईयर्स ही इज इन वॉशिंगटन डीसी ही इज अ सीजन पॉलिटिशियंस एंड अ वेल नोन इंटरनेशनल डिप्लोमेसी एंड द ट्रेड एंड ट्रीटीज Uh, as well as the internal uh, integrity of united state he he is more knowledgeable and depth knowledge have than any other person at this point uh, the senior congress members and senators are there who are who are knowing him that he is a firm decision maker very polite very nice and very straight forward again the india cannot be ignored by any country keep in mind that the uh, nuclear treaty was happened in the obama biden administration time so if it was a not a uh, india side then it was never going to be happening so the biden has already supported the treaty nuclear treaty to india as well as so many other issues he have supported also that he was always having a soft corner for india so i don't see that the uh, Uh, policies are going to be changing anything uh, on a negative or negative side than what it was the trump just made it too much noise rather than the real actions what he say in afternoon in the evening he changed and he say i never said so he was you know i told before the in the election timing i told very clearly on the tv that the trump is a liar and i will stick with my statement on a stay same still 
I have nothing to worry about that why the whether is he was the president or is the president. He was impeached because of his act. So there is no question on that. But the, he was making a more of a aggressively uh, statements more than the work. Gandharva Ved music, as the name suggests, is deeply rooted into Indian cultural heritage, and uh, now glimpses. Uh, of get to know musicians pandit daya shankar pandit sanjeev shankar and pandit anand shankar and they have successfully offered mesmerizing music with deep soulful touch we are with uh, shenai exponent pandit daya shankar ji let's see what he has to say you might have heard his work the way he plays along with his family there are three generations of shenai exponents let's speak to pandit daya shankar ji daya shankar ji namaste namaskar uh, daya ji gandharva sangeet jo program aaj ho raha hai ha is par aap kya kehna chahte hain ye to sabse badi mera bhagya hai ki main iska shuruaat karne ja raha hu aur baja raha hu और हमारे जो घराने में है सदा ये वैसे तो ऑस्पिशियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट है ये इसे ऑस्पिशियस क्यों कहते हैं ऑस्पिशियसिटी क्या खूबी है कि जितना भी शुभ कार्य में प्रयोग किया जाता है वो इसे 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 बजाया जाता है बजाया जाता है तो क्यों बजाया जाता है इसे इसके इसे, इसके इसके स्वर से क्या इसका, इसका, इसका दूसरा नाम मंगल ध्वनि भी है ओके सभी मंगल कार्यो में ये कोशिश होती है साज को रखा जाए ओके दयाशंकर जी इसके बारे में शहनाई और आपका जो वाराणसी शहर है इसका क्या कनेक्शन मेरे ख्याल से तो शहनाई ही बरस का नाम है संगीत का जो मैंने देखा है कि पहले साथ जब है शहनाई का ही नाम आता है बनारसी शहनाई बनारस की शहनाई और आज से नहीं ये बहुत पहले से प्रसिद्ध है कि साथ जो है ये बनारस का ही है और कई लोग इसको पर्शियन भी बोलते हैं इसमें पर्शियन इन्फ्लुएंस है हाँ तो यह है तो सर में मैं देखता हूँ यहाँ पर जितने भी बनारस इज दी अदर नेम फॉर वाराणसी ट्रेडिशनल नेम सर टेल अस अबाउट योर फादर आपके पिताजी मेरे पिताजी वादन करते थे मैं तो उनसे सीखा हूँ और आपके गुरु जी गुरु मेरे गुरु जी भी और उनके गुरु जी कौन थे उनके पिताजी भी शनाई ब्याजे थे आपके ग्रैंड ग्रैंड फादर हाँ वो भी शनाई ब्याजे थे उनके पिताजी भी शनाई ब्याजे थे दीज आर लाइक फाइव टू सिक्स जनरेशन ऑफ शहनाई म्यूजिक एक्सपोनेंट्स उनके गुरु जी कौन थे आपके फादर के हमारे घराने में थोड़ा सा ये अंतर आया कि हम लोग गायकी को साज में उतार दिया गुरुदेव महर्षि जी के साथ आपका आ, रहता था उसके बारे में बताइए महर्षि गुरुदेव जी देव जी तो साज के भूखे थे मतलब ये ऐसा लगता था कि जैसे उनके साथ ही जुड़े जुड़े हुए हैं वो बुराएं और हम ना जाएं पंडित अनंत लाल जी को तो हमारे गुरु हमारे फादर को तो इतना ज़्यादा प्यार करते थे वो कि एक जगह प्रोग्राम में उन्होंने अपना हार पहना हुआ किसी को देते नहीं थे वो अपना हाथ लेकिन उनको पहना दिया उन्होंने महर्षि जी महर्षि जी ने तो उस दिन से क्या वहाँ का वातावरण पापा जी को बहुत मानने लगे एंड वी गॉट संजीव शंकर टू टू स्पीक विद अस संजीव जी नमस्ते नमस्ते जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव इज दैट हाउ यू स्टार्ट योर वर्क जय गुरुदेव सो हाउ डिड यू गेट इन्फ्लुएंस एंड वाई डिड यू स्टार्ट प्लेइंग शहनाई एंड नॉट एनी अदर इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑब्वियसली वी हर्ड योर फादर से that you all have been playing for generations yes we are the 17th generation wow 17th yeah so did you say 17 yeah 17 wow 17 generations of shahnai players so this tradition is in our family for almost almost 400 years and maybe over 400 years of playing shahnai one music the music has developed with them the instrument is developed with this family 
So, I also learned from Pandit Ravi Shankarji, me and my brother. So, we were very small when we went to Guruji once. Mm. And he said, you, why don't you play Shahanai? Because I was learning to play sitar. Ah. And he said, no, 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 don't do that. Play your own instrument. It's been in your family for so long and you should not break the tradition. Break the tradition. Yes. So that's how we, in fact, even before that, we were playing a little bit because my grandfather was very adamant that we should be. So I'm sure you have Shahnai lying around in your house everywhere. Oh. You all just take it and play it anytime. You won't believe how many Shahnai we have. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. Seventeen generations. Yeah. So which is the oldest uh, Shahnai instrument you have in your, how old is it? The instrument that I was playing belonged to my grandfather. Okay. And it was given to him by his uncle. All right. So it must be at least 120 something years. My God, 120. It's, it's really a heritage instrument. It should be preserved. It must be very expensive now. <laughs> uh, expensive in terms of... It's priceless actually, it's priceless. It's priceless. Yeah. So, we heard you playing. Uh, we'd also like to meet your brother, who you said plays violin, and but then uh, went on to tabla. So next, we will meet uh, Pandit Daya Shankar's son, Anand Shankar, who plays tabla. And we have Anand Shankar with us, Pandit Daya Shankar's son, who doesn't play Shanai. He plays the tabla. Why, Anandji, did you think of playing tabla? As my brother said, in the beginning I started vi violin. violin and that was also the western one. Hmm. But I, and also we are learning the flute also. Somehow I started, some tabla player came to my house and my father, he was practicing with my father. And somehow he went away for doing some work. Then I sat on tabla and just bang like this. Okay. And, that very hands at it. Yes. and at that time very young at that. How old were you then? Around eight or something like eight, ten, which means. <laughs> That's <laughs> so really he, young. Yeah, it's ten years maybe. Then he said, oh yes, sounds good. And that day I don't know how I merged with... You just went into it. And then you started learning it? Yeah, and just... Then you just became... So you accompany your dad on every concert yeah. you all go to? Yeah. Or every program you all go to? Yeah, my, my father and with my brothers also, I went there. But we have nothing to fear. Pandit Dayashankar has got two sons who play Shanai and uh, Ananji plays Tabla. So the tradition will go on for generations and generations. Thank you, Ananji. Thank you for speaking with us. And now time to say goodbye from today's Vision of Asia Voice of Community. But we would like you to stay on the top of our game by staying healthy and fit, uh, maintaining social distance, uh, wearing masks and washing your hands as frequently as you deem fit. On the whole, 2020 has begun, but the challenges are still uh, ready to welcome us at every step looks like. Hopefully, we will overcome all the challenges successfully. And uh, we once again want to thank your continued uh, support for ITV family as well as Vision of Asia. This is Ashok Vyas with lots of good wishes. Namaste.